Now we're going to look at some function families and see which function families are larger than others. Now, the smallest possible function family is constant, or as we denote it, O of 1. Now what this means in reality is that the amount of work we do in our function is not determined by the size of our input. So let's say we wrote a function that always returned 42. Now, if I inputted it a list of 10 million or a list of 10 billion, it would always just return 42. No matter what the size of the input is, it always does the work in constant time. This is the fastest function because no matter what our input is, it will always do the same small amount of work. Even if the work is a large amount, if it doesn't depend on the size of the input, it is still constant and we consider it very fast. Then we have logarithmic, which is the size of the input is actually growing very large, but the amount of work we do is very small. Now if we look at this, we can see in this example how the log line is red, and as our input size increases, the logarithmic growth goes very down. Now log is a very desired function family, because think about it, log of a thousand in base 2 is 10, log of a million in base 2 is 20, and log of 1 billion is 30. If we can make the amount of work we do dependent based on the log of the size, then we can multiply the size of the input by large numbers and we'll still be doing very small work more. We have the square root, which is, as you expect, the square root function. We have linear, which is O of n. What, another one which is popular is we call it linear arithmetic or log linear, but essentially it's what we saw in the last video, which is n log n. And this is one that we end up seeing a lot in computer science. Quadratic is n squared, and then we keep having things like cubic and quartic, which is n cubed, n to the 4, and those are all worse than the ones before them. And then the worst possible function family that we could possibly have is exponential. Now exponential means that we the size of our input is the exponent which we're raising the base k to. So imagine that if the base was 2, if our input was 10, we'd do a thousand work. If our input was 20, we'd be doing a million work. And if our input was 30, we'd be doing 1 billion work. So clearly our input is slowly increasing, but the size is exponentially increasing, the amount of work that we're doing. And we can see through this graph that, for instance, why we don't care about lower order terms and why we don't care about constants. Now we know, for instance, that logarithmic is the best possible function family because in the long run it goes very slowly. However, if we have 400 log n, notice how for the first small inputs, the red line is actually above the blue line, which is the exponential growth. So even though 2 to the n is worst in the asymptotic behavior, we can see in the, in the small run, it's actually doing better. That's why we don't care about the small constants, because in the asymptotic behavior, when the input size increases, we can see that 2 to the n is much, much worse. So that's exactly what we care about. If we look at this example, we can see how just without constants, n squared is greater than n log n, which is greater than n, which is the best being n log n. Now, if we look at the long asymptotic behavior, we can see that lower order terms don't matter. Here we have two functions, n squared and n squared plus 100n plus 500. Now, if we look at the input size when it gets to 10,000, notice how the actual growth and the path is pretty much identical. Every single function, if it belongs with the n squared function family, is going to eventually look like this sort of growth, no matter what constants or lower order terms there are. This is exactly why we only care about the highest order term, because asymptotically, it's going to converge on a specific route. So as we see here, there are different function families, some of them being much slower than others, exponential being the slowest, and logarithmic being one of the fastest. When we try and write our programs, we want to be able to say that this function is better than the other one because it is in a lower function family. If I had, the, if I had a function f, which did the same thing as function g, if, s, if f was only o of log n, and g was o of n, then we know that f is immediately better because we decrease the size of the function family. We'll see later on how we can figure out the actual function family that a function belongs into, and we'll talk about things 
and ways where we can think about actually reducing the function family class.